Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So guys, here we are and I'm going to be sharing with you, with you a ton of sales today. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So as you can see, we've got this large video game bundle, uh, random uh, video games essentially. These were the items that I pulled off eBay that were under a tenner and I wanted to get out on an auction. I just wanted to get rid of them. Um, and essentially what these were, they, they were either individual listings on eBay or in very, very small bundles. And as I say, I just took them off eBay, threw them all together and then put them on like 4 99 or 6 99 starting bid, something around there. Now the reason the postage is at 3 49 is eBay wasn't allowing me to put any more postage on than that. I've had it a few times where eBay basically states the maximum postage you can put on this listing is £3.50. It's really, really annoying. We need to change that on some of these categories. Um, but yeah, so I just put that in there and then basically increased my max, uh, my starting bid by a couple of quid to cover that you know extra postage because I knew that this would be going uh, 5 99 Hermes job. Um, but as you can see, it went all the way up to 20 quid, so I was happy with that. Just getting these items out, clearing them out, happy to get some money back for them. And yeah, that was that one anyway. So I'm actually going to close the tabs so that then obviously there shouldn't be a, as much lag. Um, I don't know whether this video will be a bit laggy. It might be because I've got so many tabs open. But we'll have to see. We'll have to hope. Uh, again, these were just under £10 minifigures that I had listed individually. Um, and essentially I just bundled them all up. I was just going to get what I got for them and obviously move on. A lot of these have come from job lots that I've already paid for anyway, so they didn't necessarily owe me anything. So it was nice just to get them gone and get a little bit of money through the door for those. And now all the minifigs that I've got listed are over a tenner or, well, £9.95 minimum price and then obviously going up from there. Um, so yeah, £30 plus my postage on those ones. So next, yes, I sell clothing. Uh, no, I don't really sell clothing. I'm really, really bad at selling clothing. Do not ever ask me for advice on selling clothing because you should get more than this for a Ra Ralph Lauren shirt. Everyone tells me, like so many clothing sellers tell me, you know, you should be getting like 25 or 30 quid for Ralph Lauren shirts. I've had it over and over again from like five or 10 different people say, you know, why can't you get that amount for it? And I, for whatever reason, you can see I've got a half decent photo there. You know, okay, maybe my title needs a little bit of reworking. Maybe there's a certain keyword I'm not putting in there to appeal to a certain um, audience or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I can only ever get 20 quid for a Ralph Lauren shirt. I mean, I think, I think one time I might have got like 22 or 23 quid. But yeah, you can see I'm really not cut out for clothing. I will still pick it up every now and then just because I, I just... I just can't quit. I am so stubborn that I have to at least keep trying. Um, so yeah, if I see a Ralph Lauren shirt for a couple of quid, I'll still pick it up and I'll, try, I'll throw it on high. I'll throw it on at 25 or 30 quid. Um, and if it doesn't sell, I'll reduce the price like I did with this one. And uh, as you can see, I got 20 quid. Now, it's not so bad because I actually got this in a jumble sale. It was about a year ago, but I got this for a quid at a jumble sale. So one pound into 20 quid. I'm more than happy with that. However, I keep hearing from people, you know, that really you, you can get a little bit more for these shirts. So, you know, I don't like underselling things. So, yeah, but I can't, I, I couldn't get any more for it than that. So please tell me, clothing sellers, can you get more of it than this for a Ralph Lauren shirt? Because I can't. It's really weird. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um... But yeah, that was that one. Oh yes, more clothing. Now, actually, men's coats I'm, I'm not too bad with. Um, I've had some good success with men's coats. I picked up um, like a Ben Sherman coat for like a tenner and sold that for like 50 quid. I picked up, um, well, I suppose this isn't a coat, but I picked up like a jacket, a fishing jacket for 10 quid and I flipped it into 60 quid. So I've done okay with coats. This one, I think I paid like a quid for in a charity shop, or n not a lot anyway, a quid or two quid. And uh, you can see there I got 13.49 plus postage. Wasn't a great coat, wasn't a great brand, but some of these coats you can just pick up for a quid and you can flip them into, you know, 10, 15, 20 quid anyway, even if the brand isn't brilliant. But obviously if you've got a better brand then you're looking 30 40 50 60 quid however why am i even talking about this because i don't even have a clue with clothing so ignore everything i just said um so yeah that's that one and then finally we got another clothing sale greenwood now this one isn't a very good photo this was before i had the the mannequin oh yeah thank you to ryan for sending me the mannequin ages ago as well uh, what's his name? Uh, do it yourself lifestyle. I'm sure a lot of you know him. Um, yeah, so he sent me that mannequin, which was awesome. 
Um, so yeah, that really did help improve my photos actually, but it still didn't really help improve my sales that much, but still, I'm going to keep trying. Um, so yeah, this one was a bit of a fail actually. Um, I paid 10 quid for it. I did make profit on it, but it must have been like one or two pound profit. Um, but basically... I paid 10 quid for it, it sat around for ages, I took a, a, accepted a best offer of 17.99, which was the first interest I'd had in it for ages, so I thought, let's get it gone, obviously accepting an offer of 17.99 plus my postage, I might have made a bit more than one or two quid, it might have been four or five quid, but yeah, not a lot of profit on that one, so yeah, but I mean, you can see this one, there is some issues with this listing, you know, obviously the photo could do with some improving, the title maybe could have been padded out, so I can kind of see why this one did actually sit for a while and when I can see that and when I can analyze a listing like that it makes me feel more comfortable with you know future endeavors um, but yeah so this was a Philips um, Hue personal lighting wireless dimmer switch brand new in the box got two of these very recently for three pound each in a charity shop I whacked them on they sold within about 20 hours about 20 hours it was um, it was under 24 hours anyway but I'm, I'm estimating it was about 20 hours uh, and as you can see I got 15 quid plus postage uh, sorry not plus postage free postage postage both of them sold within like an hour of each other but to different people which was really weird um so yeah i don't know how much profit on them maybe seven eight quid about eight quid something like that i don't know i'm just making it up i think i'm just you know that's kind of around the profit level um neil softworks uh sophology plush at plush i always talk about this i paid two quid for this one i think and i flipped it into 13 quid within a week or two really happy with this nice little bread and butter sale Again, six or seven quid profit, something like that on this one. So I was quite happy with that. Now, I don't actually do the whole, um, you know, the whole like um, tallying your profits of individual item things anymore. I just do it in my mind. So, you know, my profits might be a little bit off, but I'm just trying to give you a bit more information. Um, so, yeah, anyway, here's this Ben 10, uh, Raf Tiger, Ben Wolf, Diamond Head, whatever. Now, I realized on this one when it's sold, the photo is a little bit blurry, which is really annoying. Um, but it's sold. They could obviously see them well enough, and um, or they thought they could anyway. And I got 10 quid plus postage. That was in that Ben 10 job lot that I got from the car boot for 15 quid, I think it was. And I'm in profit on that now, so that's nice. Just, you know, things selling through from that job lot, making me more money. So that was cool. Uh, next, oh, I was so happy. I was like, when, when this sold, I was like, I'm definitely sharing this on a sales update because I love this. It was in an auction job lot. I think it was when I was doing the... Um, you know, the more quantity over quality early on in the year, which turned out to be a shockingly bad business decision on my part. Um, and it may be one of the reasons for some of my slow sales over summer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, this one, so I would have paid like 50p or something for this, maybe even less in one of those job lots because I was paying ridiculously cheap money for those job lots. Um, so yeah, like 50p into 10 quid plus postage. It's really cool this was though. It's really like a, it's like a cock colour chicken on there, obviously multicoloured. Pretty cool. I quite liked it. And then it was uh, Toledo. So I'm guessing maybe that's a place or maybe it's a, a Potter's Works or something. I'm not sure. It's either a place or a Potter's Works anyway. But yeah, £10.15 plus postage on that one. Pretty happy with that. Uh, now, one guy bought two dolls. I uh, basically bought a huge job lot of dolls from a charity shop for 50 quid. Um, it was a large, I mean, there was like six bin bags full of dolls, like, there must have been, uh, these, all these Leonardo collection ones, I think it was one from a different company in there, there was like, oh no, this one wasn't, this was from a separate charity shop, but the next one that I'm talking about, that was from the job lot, basically I got this job lot, 50 quid plus post, uh, not 50 quid plus postage, 50 quid in a charity shop, and um, loads of dolls in there, and I was like, oh god, this might not work out very well. Anyway, I listed all the dolls, and it actually did work out. I made profit on it, um, and I think I listed about two or 300 quid worth of dolls, so it was pretty decent in the end. But essentially, the same guy bought this doll here for £10.35, and then this doll here, which I got in a charity shop separately for two or three pound. Um, and yeah, that was uh, about 26, 27 quid, I think the order came to in, in total. So yeah, quite happy with that. But I did get, I was really um, pleased when I realized that that doll job lot that I got from the charity shop was going to work out. But I just thought, you know, because there's like six bin bags full of dolls, I thought just off quantity alone, you know, it, there must be some money in there. So yeah, quite happy with that. Again, this one would have probably, each doll was probably going to come in at about £2 a dollar just left because there must have been 25 or 30 dolls in those bags. So yeah, probably the total cost on this order for me was about 5 quid. 
obviously into about 27 quid so i'm quite happy with that one so that's those two sales one second there we go so this was like just i thought i'd show this this is pretty interesting again just came in a job lot cost me pennies obviously uh small vintage brass enamel duck thing i thought that's pretty cool not very big i think it's like 10 centimeters something 14 centimeters um, I suppose you could. I suppose a good um, word that I didn't put in there, a keyword, would be paperweight. I should have put paperweight in there because that this would have been, you know, that would have been suited to being a paperweight or something like that. Um, so yeah, maybe another keyword in there would have been paperweight. But it did take a while to sell. So maybe with that addition of that keyword, it might have helped it sell a bit quicker. But yeah, that was that one. Uh, next was something quite nice. I got this in an auction job lot of Studio Pottery quite recently, I think. It had um, quite a few nice pieces of Studio Pottery in. It had a uh, really nice, well, it had two really nice sort of vases or pots. Sold one for like 40 quid and one for 30 quid. And this job lot I got for like 20 quid plus commission. There's this one that's gone for 14 99 plus post. And um, I've got another couple of items, I think, in my lockup that I haven't even listed out of the job lot. So I probably made about 100 quid off like a 20, 25 pound investment there. Maybe even a little bit more. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, nice little investment that was. And Studio Pottery at the auctions, if it's like, you know, certain type of Studio Pottery... It doesn't get much money, like it doesn't command much money at auction um, in these little job lots. So you can always pick one up. Well, not always, but sometimes you can pick them up and you can get them for a really good price. And maybe not as many of the dealers are actually looking into them. Um, but obviously some pieces that the auction house separates out as an individual lot, they may end up commanding a lot more money. Because then collectors start getting involved and all the rest of it. But yeah, that's that one. Quite happy with that sale. Next, another piece of Studio Pottery, I got this in a charity shop for £3. I thought, oh my god, this is a really heavy piece. Looks pretty cool. Uh, you can see here, uh, Campus Filios or something, made in Portugal. And I just looked at this and I thought, yeah, there's got to be some money in this. Um, I don't know whether I had it up for higher. I don't know whether I maybe had it up for 25 or not. But as you can see there, it went for 20 plus postage from £3 investment. More than happy with that. Some great profit in there. And yeah, really happy to pick that one up. It was very, very heavy. It was like a, um, I don't know, it was like um, really just heavy duty. It was made well. I probably screwed up on the postage there because I'm pretty sure it would have cost me like 5 99 with Hermes. But still, even, you know, even experienced resellers still make mistakes like that. So yeah, I don't know why. I must have been listing pretty quick. I just put 4 four forty nine in there and didn't change it to 5 99 or whatever. Because um, what I do when I'm listing is I have like a little postage template thing set up. So it'll like just keep that one postage in there. So if I forget to enter the new postage in there and I click list, you know, if I'm just in a daze or whatever wanting to hurry through that listing, then that ends up happening and it ends up being the, the other postage from the previous listing, if you kind of get my drift. So yeah, that must have happened on that one. But still, there's still some great profit in there, even considering that I will have, you know, had to pay out an extra couple of quid on the postage. So yeah, Quite happy with that one. Um, next was this vintage TG Green Cornish where I showed this on a haul video recently. Now, it did actually have a crack on further inspection. Where was it? There. I mean, it's the tiniest little thing. It really is like a tiny little niggle, you know, tiny little uh, chip off the side there. But I did uh, put the price down. I was going to go for 20 I think, no, actually, I think I did put it on for $24.99, but someone sent me an offer of $22.49. I think that might have been what happened anyway. Um, so I did put it on a bit higher, um, but someone obviously sent me an offer and uh, it went for that. But still, I was quite happy to accept that because, as I say, there was that small little chip on it. So I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that figure. Um, and as I say, that came from an auction job lot again. Probably paid two or three quid for this in that specific job lot. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Nice little item. Worth looking out for. It seems to be, uh, these seem to be uh, quite a good seller now. You know, these kind of polka dot design. I don't know why. It maybe just is in fashion a little bit. So, yeah, that's quite nice. Next are these candlestick holders from the car boot that I got the other day. Uh, the other day? A couple of weeks ago now. Um, yeah, and a lot of people helped me out with the design on this. This was a Fleur de Lis. Um, cause I was, I think I said in the video, I know I kind of remember that style, but I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was like a scout style or something. Um, but it's actually called the Fleur de Lis style. 
And yeah, so thank you for people who helped me out in the comments down below on that video. And I watched them on for 22.49 plus my postage. Um, and yeah, that was pretty, I was pretty happy. That went pretty quick. I did pay four quid for the set. No, I didn't. I paid two quid for the set, didn't I? Because she originally had them stickered up at four quid. But then I think I said to her, would you take two quid on them? Or maybe she had a half price off because essentially it was a woman who was just clearing out a mum and dad's old collection and she just wanted rid of everything. So it was either the fact that I bartered her down to two quid or that she um, essentially like had a 50% off thing going on. Um, but yeah. Essentially pretty cool. Even if I paid four quid, it's still decent profit. So yeah, I have four quid or two quid on them. Uh, next was this Royal Crown Derby uh, Art Deco 20s 30s Nut Tray. Again, that title could use a little bit of padding out, a few more keywords in there. Uh, 1763 plus postage. Obviously, I've had that on a sale at some point, hence why it's a bit of a weird price. But yeah, quite nice. I was quite happy to hold out for this. Again, we'll pay a couple of quid in the auction job lot. Um, it's got this Art Deco style. It's kind of gently Art Deco more than like a really out there art deco piece but it's still quite nice lovely color to it i really do like the color you've got like little bits of green in there and then you've got the sort of peachy color in there it's really really nice you can see there crown devon the marks a little bit off there but obviously uh, that's what happens over time and then yes 21 quid for that more than happy with that little sale there next was something really nice this is this vintage Sean the Sheep footstool uh, from Boots 1989 um, I got 39 I got four, full price for this 39.99 plus postage now yeah, I don't know whether I showed it in a haul video I think I did uh, I think I did anyway it was ages ago but I got this for a quid and I was amazed I was like oh my god a quid I bet this is going to be some good money as well this so I picked it up for a quid and I listed it for a while and it got some interest, etc. And then I panicked. I had this day where I panicked and I was thinking, hang on a minute, because um, someone messaged me about it, right? And I looked at the item and I was like, I've sold that. I'm pretty sure I've sold that. Um, so what I did was I pulled the listing off straight away. And I didn't go um, to actually check in my storage um, that it was still there and I actually hadn't sold it. So then a few months rolled by. You know, having taken this off and deleted the listing as well, so I wouldn't, uh, you know, relist it. Um, because I didn't want to get into a situation where I sell it and I realise I haven't got it. Because uh, I've got into that situation enough times and I don't like that situation. So, um, essentially, I uh, then saw it um, in storage and I thought to myself, oh my god, I need to relist that. I have actually got it. So, I relisted it only about two or three weeks ago. That, no, about... About a week or two ago, something like that anyway. It wasn't long ago. And uh, yeah, 39.99 plus postage from a £1 investment. Really happy with that sale. Some really good profit on that. Uh, definitely worth looking out for. It's like a little, well, it's quite big actually. It's a big footstool. Uh, it took a little bit of packaging up, but I wasn't bothered about that anyway. Because obviously £1 into 40 quid. I'm all over that. Plus the postage obviously on there. So yeah, nice little sale of that. Quite a cool looking item as well. Quite funky. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So next is a Royal Dalton Brambley head, something very much to look out for. A lot of people know about these now, so I am going to just mention it. Um, a lot of these, these tend to go far too high at auction now as well. Like, um, I was trying to bid for a set of these at auction, and we, the set went for like 200 quid or something. And yeah, there is a bit of profit in there, you know, when you break them down individually, I'm sure you could get 300 quid or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure you could get about that. But, you know, it just wasn't enough for me. So I think a lot of people know about these. A lot of people have cottoned on to these. Um, and, yeah, I got £61. I actually can't remember where this came from, though. It must have been an in an auction job lot of some kind, but I can't remember what, where it came from. Um, but, yeah, 61 quid there plus my postage. Really happy with that sale. I, oh, I did, yeah, I remember the day I found this, actually, it was in an auction job lot, it wasn't a necessarily ex really expensive auction job lot, I found it in there, and I was researching it, expecting it to be like a £20 plate, you know, £15, £20 plate, because I didn't know about the whole Brambley hedge thing, and um, yeah, I essentially researched it, and I was like, oh my god, 60 quid, so, yeah, it was a long time ago, though, I had this up, I, had, I did have this listed for a while, maybe if I had it up for 50 quid, it would have gone really, really quickly, but I was happy just to wait for the extra tenner, you know, I'm not bothered, I've got a large enough inventory to be able to do that with certain items, so, yeah, quite happy with that one there. So that's like a nice little item. Five vintage children's books annuals. I always pick these uh, job lots of annuals up in the auction house. Generally, you'll see a big box full of 
random vintage annuals and you might pay £10 plus commission. They generally don't go more than that. Um, you pay £10 plus commission, there's maybe 20 or 30 bucks in there. And you just do a few bundles of five or six of them and you might get, you know, 70, 80 quid out, out of your £10 plus commission. So for me personally, I feel like that's worth doing. And obviously if you want to do bigger bundles and maybe put them on for 20 quid so then you're not putting on £10 items, you can do that as well. Um, so yeah, I always pick these up. It's worth it for me. And as you can see, these were just some vintage ones, just five of them. Rupert, Noddy, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry and uh, Danger Mouse. There. So yeah, nothing amazing, but it's a little sale there. Um, so next is something that I got from when I was doing the whole quantity thing, like I mentioned before, the start of the year from the other auction house. Um, again, this would have cost me absolute pence. I prob most probably even paid for it now. Um, so yeah, I got 10 quid for this. It was a black staff, 100% linen placemat, um, new and sealed. Again, it just came out of the household auction. Uh, nothing really special there, but I thought I'd include it, you know, £10 sale there. Um, and next is this uh, large vintage yellow floral leaf design. Art Deco Fruit Bowl, uh, £15.23 plus postage. Nice little sale there. Again, I got this from an auction house. Um, I believe this was in a job lot with some other kind of more leaf design plates and stuff. I don't know whether it had any cabbage plates in it, but it did have some other like leaf design type plates like this in there. So yeah, I was quite happy. I think I paid about 20 quid for plus commission for that job lot. So this will either pay for it or very, very nearly pay for it anyway. Um, well, very nearly pay for it. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Nothing really special. It did have a small mark on it, 1671, but I couldn't see any a maker on there so i just whacked it on i didn't put a maker on there i just whacked it on and uh, you can see there uh, that's what it is essentially and it is quite large um like 26 centimeters in length so yeah quite nice one that one um next is the big taboo i picked two of these up in the charity in a charity shop for two pound fifty each so i got five pound for the two and you can see here from two pound fifty i got 13.99 plus postage now that does seem like a little bit of a low price so i'm wondering whether something was missing or something in this on this item because it does seem like maybe i could have commanded a little bit more than that i did send ah uh, there was a little bit of a mark on there uh, I don't know whether you can see that on his arm there. There's a little bit of a mark. But I, I, I remember at the time, I don't think I could get off. So, essentially, maybe I put the price down a little bit for that. I think the other one may have gone off to Amazon. And maybe that was the reason I put this one on eBay because of that little mark and I didn't want to send it to Amazon. Maybe, I don't know. But as you can see there, 14 quid plus postage um, from £2.50. So, I was happy with that. Uh, next was these vintage uh, Congress Cellutone finished playing cards. Playing cards are good, vintage playing cards. Like, you can get some really good money if there's a certain... Uh, if there's a decent set of playing cards. These weren't necessarily like a really decent set or anything. But, you know, I just whacked them on. Uh, I think I might have had them on at 15 quid originally. But, uh, you know, over time, some, some sales have brought that down. Or some price decreases even have brought that down to £13.22 plus postage. But I was still happy with that. Again, just got it in an auction job lot. 50p or a quid cost to me. So it doesn't really matter. Again, some good profit on that one. Uh, next was these uh, vintage wood, uh, I think that's meant, wood vine? Cream, I think, that, is that not meant to be woods? Oh no, wood vine, yeah, that's what I, I thought. I thought that was woods, actually, not wood vine. But yeah, vintage wood vine, cream, floral, uh, design embellished side plates. Quite nice looking items here. You can see we've got the embe embellishments all around the rim, which are actually really nicely done. And then we've got some sort of uh, tree or floral design in the, in the centre there. I don't know what flower. But I just generally always put floral design instead of actually putting the flower. Sometimes if it's a rose, I might put a rose. Um, or if it's just got one flower on, like it's got a foxglove or something like that, I might tempt, be tempted to put foxglove. But generally I just put floral design and then it covers it. And people, I don't know whether people do search for that, but it seems to work for me. I seem to get sales, so maybe it does help. Um, but yeah, so 13.22 plus... But hey, that was the same as that other one, wasn't it? The other one was 13.22. Uh, plus postage there. Again, just an auction job lot. One or two quid. Two quid being absolute maximum cost to me. So yeah, really happy with that one there. And then finally was... Um, Something a little bit of a uh, different sale than my usual items. Uh, Harry Potter complete set of uh, seven books, paperback slash hardback editions. Um, I just made up a random bundle. There was one hardback in there and there, the rest of them were paperbacks. So I was quite happy with 30 quid plus postage considering that the majority were actually paperbacks and not hardbacks. Um, so yeah, and you can see there's a little bit of wear to them. They're not, the, not in the best condition. You see that uh, Philosopher's Stone definitely has some wear to it. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. Nice little 
little sale uh, 30 quid plus postage again one pound each maybe i would have paid something like that probably would have gotten for less than that um but as a maximum one pound a book so maximum cost there would be seven quid but it might even be less than that so yeah quite happy with that little sale there uh, nice sale to end on and I will leave it there guys if you enjoyed the sales update Please do leave a comment down below um, if you have any questions comments or queries again drop them down below If you haven't already subscribed then please do so and I think that's me done So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See you very soon guys